more than 300 Origin jerseys and 400 test appearances will somehow be boiled down to the next batch of NRL Hall of Fame inductees after the final 25-man shortlist was announced. Six legends of the game will be inducted to the revamped Hall of Fame in July, joining the 100 greatest players in rugby league's history already named during centenary celebrations in 2008. Among the final ballot of players nominated are modern-day Marvel's Greg Alexander, Cliff Lyons, Danny Badaris and Ricky Stewart, while the likes of Gordon Tallis, Paul Haragon and Patero Sivanacheva lead the forward contingent. Casting further back, pioneering Roosters lockjack, Bluey, Watkins from rugby league's earliest days is also in contention, as are 1950s wingers Ian Moyer, South Sydney, Peter Diamond, Iwests and Dennis Flannery, Ipswich brothers. History also beckons for New Zealanders Stacey Jones, Ruben Wickey and Mark Graham, who have the chance to become the first Kiwi to join the Hall of Fame, with the initial 100 inductees chosen solely from Australian representatives. A 25-man panel, made up of historians, administrators, veteran media types and 10 current Hall of Fame members, will be tasked with choosing the six champions from this year's shortlist for induction. With most Al contenders boasting double-figure tallies for state and test caps among a host of individual honors and premierships, the Hall of Fame's strength can be readily measured by the quality of those that don't make the cut. That's a good reference to the actual process and how thorough the process is, NRL awards manager Frank Politua said. We go through a very defined objective model, and then we place the subjective voting up against it. We get a really well-rounded view of these players, their numbers speak for themselves. Their performances on different stages speak for themselves as well. There will be a chosen few who go through and it's going to be fascinating to see it play out. Nominees will be judged according to a set of guiding principles, covering everything from creativity and attack to leadership qualities and physical endurance, designed by a group of ex-players including Nathan Hindmarsh and Andrew Ryan. In essence, the greats of the game will be evaluated on the qualities their peers hold highest. It's a phenomenal list of players and it's humbling to even be considered for a nomination, Alexander told NRL.com. You play the game because you love it, but that kind of recognition is something pretty special. We've seen other sports really take control of their Hall of Fame concept and from this year it's taking real pride of place in the game, as with the Immortals concept, Hall of Fame contenders must be retired from the NRL for five years before nomination. From 2019, four players will be inducted each year, with separate categories also to be created for coaches, referees, and contributors to the game starting next year's